do you do if you don't have access to a river or a beach to find good rocks to paint? You go to a place like this, a stone yard or a landscape supply company. This is North Star Landscape Supply in Bellingham and I've got my heavy gloves and a bag and we're going to head over to the bins of rocks and pick out some good rocks to paint. So come along with me. Sorting is always the most difficult part because I find that the rocks aren't as good as I thought. This one looked great but then I found that it had some cracks and dents in it that just wouldn't work for painting. Also this rock had a beautiful shape and size but it was sandstone and sandstone is pretty rough and uh, it tends to absorb paint and it's very difficult to work with. Granite is also not very good to work with feel pretty good in your hand and you can even do a black coat of paint but it will always show the pits and dents. One of the best types to work with is mudstone. This was a very nice piece of mudstone. After you've got them sorted, some uh, you can paint black and some you just want to do a little black circle on in the middle depending on the style of your mandala. The best way to get a perfect circle is to spin the rock Hold the paintbrush still with one hand and spin the rock with the other and you should end up with a perfect circle with a little practice. I'm going to show you five ways to use rainbow colors in painting rocks. The first is the standard rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Starting in the middle with the red in a pattern of six around the center dot. We'll just be offsetting each row with a larger size tool for each row in a different color. By the time you get to the violet on this rock, you'll be off the black center circle. Now I'm just going to go back and put some lighter shade of the same color inside each dot. I thought that this needed a little bit more. It was showing a little bit too much rock on the bare stone, so I thought I'd add another layer of blue. And when that was dry, I went ahead and added a lighter tone on top of that and a violet one on the center dot. And then I just went back and circled the violet dots again with a small row. This is the reverse rainbow, starting with the green this time in a pattern of eight. I'm using my smallest manicure stylus to get these center dots done. Again, by the time I get to the red dots, I am on the edge of the black center dot. And now I'm on the bare rock by the time I get to the outside edge. I 
again going back with a lighter tone and a finished reversed rainbow. Now we're going to do the rainbow half spin. I started this one with a group of six and worked my way out offsetting each row. When I got to the green dot, I made it two sizes larger than the blue dot in the previous row. This way it leaves me some room to do walking the dots with a lime green. Then we're going to walk the dots again, this time with the yellow, and again with the orange. But on the orange, we're only going to walk it halfway. This gives the illusion of the half spin. I'm going to do the same thing again with the final red row. Then to finish some chartreuse on the inside of the green dots. Now the rainbow eye. This is a great alternative if you have a rock that is not quite round. This one was very oval and I decided to do the rainbow eye on this one makes a great effect. Starting with a blue dot in one corner of the rock and then walking the dots all the way around it in the varying colors. Making sure to add a, a larger stylus for each row and you want to walk those all the way up to the top until they're just micro dots. Finally, the rainbow lily. This time I, sit, I started with a white center dot and I'm using my smallest stylus again to do a pattern of six around the center dot. Again, I used a larger stylus on the purple dot so I would have room to walk the dots around that. Finishing up with the yellow row. But I didn't go all the way back to the top with the yellow row. I stopped and left room to finish each row with a little bit of white. and then a final white dot on each point of the lily. Going back with a lighter tone on the inside. And it's done. Think of your own designs with the rainbow colors. It's lots of fun. <laughs>